Thank you for selecting Mountain Buffalo Products Lockhorns Coupling for your piping system. These couplings are designed to be applied to Mountain Buffalo Products ring systems only. This video will demonstrate the quick fit installation method. Please watch this video in its entirety and review the associated manual before completing the installation. It is important that all instructions be followed as any important omission could result in equipment damage or personal injury. It is important installers are qualified and experienced in industrial work execution. Care and experience can help to manage the personal safety risks that accompany working on equipment of this scale. Please note, a larger and mostly unapparent personal safety risk is the unexpected coupling movement from induced pipe stress. Please consider any potential pipe strain and carefully manage body positioning during the coupling installation. Mountain Buffalo Lockhorns couplings are a tight joint by design and offer more competitive piping systems to the industry. This assembly is intended to require more meticulous attention to detail and will in return create a higher integrity joint. Once all equipment isolations and work authorizations are in place, you are ready to begin. Perform a physical check on all installation materials. Refer to the parts list to ensure you have all the parts required for the assembly of the Lockhorn's ring joint coupling. Also be sure that all required rigging material is present. This may include slings, screw pin anchor shackles, rope for tag lines, and threaded rod with nuts and washers if you plan to use these as an additional safety measure. Mountain Buffalo Lockhorn's couplings come in two halves. There are designated top and bottom pieces, with the bottom half containing the bolt anti-rotation bus. Each coupling half weighs a little under 300 pounds, so ensure adequate care is taken in managing coupling assembly. The halves are shipped as a matched top and bottom set, but are interchangeable. Each coupling half has two lifting lugs, sized to fit a maximum 7 8 inch shackle. Each lifting point can support the weight of the coupling and moderate pipe manipulation loading, but should not exceed a 2-ton capacity and are not designed to lift longer piping sections into place. Pipe manipulation should have rigging attached directly on the pipe to take the majority of the weight, leaving the coupling lifting points for smaller coupling adjustments. Ensure all rigging is rated for the intended load. If your connecting bolts are not pre-coated, be sure to apply an acceptable anti-seize lubricant. Please note that the torque values in our manual are for dry installation and will need to be adjusted by the lubricant's K-factor. To install the gasket, slide the gasket onto the back side of one of the rings away from the face of the pipe. Bring the connecting piece of pipe close to the fixed pipe, then position and support the two pieces of pipe for further fine alignment. The two pipe ends should have zero or near zero gap for a successful coupling installation. Once the two pieces of pipe are aligned and secured, apply a thin layer of Buffalo Grease Seal Gasket Lubricant to the ring's gasket recess on the pipe connection, then slide the gasket into position. If the pipe ends are in the correct final assembly position, there should be no visible gaps between the installed gasket and either ring. With the gasket in final position, apply a liberal amount of Buffalo Grease to the surface before the coupling placement. This will allow for ease of the coupling installation. Once the two coupling halves are ready for placement on the pipe, be sure both coupling halves and both rings are clean and free of grease, oil, rust, debris, and any sharp edges. There are two accepted practices for installing couplings into piping systems. Either joining method provides similar joint integrity, personal installation preference, or working environment accessibility will determine the selection. The first method lowers both coupling halves from above, while the second has the top coupling half lowered from above and the bottom coupling raised from below. After an initial coupling installation, the loosely connected coupling halves can be carefully rotated into whatever finished position is desired before torquing. Potential coupling rotation issues are dependent on pipe load and strain, or inadequate gasket outside surface lubrication. Method 1. Connect one shackle and sling to each of the coupling halves lug locations and slowly lower both halves onto the pipe joint centered over the two rings. With the coupling halves manually installed in place, insert all four connecting bolts through the coupling bottom half through the top half bolt holes. Aligning the connecting bolts through the top coupling half may require micro adjustments using the bolt hole clearances or slightly rotating the coupling halves by raising or lowering the set. 
Once all four connecting bolts are in place and the nuts are hand-threaded, any desired assembly rotation can occur. The torquing sequence may now be completed. If the coupling bolting faces don't readily come together, there's likely too much gap between the pipe ends, or there isn't enough gasket outside surface lubrication in place. Method 2. Maneuver the bottom coupling half below the piping joint location. This is pre-positioned for a straight upward lift in a future step. Connect one shackle and sling to each of the two top coupling lug locations. Then slowly lower the top coupling half onto the pipe joint centered over the two rings. Once the top coupling half is in place, ensure it is secured from rotating while installing the bottom coupling half. Insert connecting bolts through the coupling bottom half. We recommend starting with a single bolt on each side diagonal from each other for easier alignment. Wrap rigging over the bolt to keep it from falling out while lifting. Aligning the connecting bolts through the top coupling half may require micro adjustments using the bolt hole clearances, slightly rotating the top coupling half or raising and lowering the bottom coupling half. Once the two connecting bolts are in place and the nuts are hand threaded, Remove the rigging and insert and hand thread the remaining bolts. Final torquing on all the nuts can be done to tighten up the two halves together and complete the installation. If the coupling bolting faces don't readily come together, there is likely too much gap between the pipe ends or there isn't enough gasket outside surface lubrication in place. Method 1 and 2. Now carefully release loads and remove all rigging. You are now done. Congratulations! Your mountain buffalo coupling is installed and you are ready for pressure testing that connection.